Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, we're going to open you guys up a, a Waves plugin called the Kramer Pi. Um, we're going to open it up, show you guys what kind of options it has to, uh, what options it provides, uh, what it does, show you guys a little bit of my uh, my thoughts on it, you know, what to use it on, what not to use it on, uh, things like that. Just like a little overview, get you guys a little bit more familiar with it. Uh, remember, you guys got to have certain audio bundles, I mean, Waves bundles in order to open uh, some of these plugins. But for now, we're going to go to Audio Effects, Audio Units, we'll go to Waves. We're going to go down to Kramer Pi, we're going to open it up, and it's going to look a little something like this. So, uh got your compression ratio your decay time your threshold and your output gives you another meter that's what's so nice about it input output uh i suggest you guys go in you guys try it on your own you know throw it on a vocal see what see what kind of uh warmth or kind of effect it gives to the vocal you know you guys might like it more than any of the other other tools you guys are using uh, at the moment um you know, and, and and that's the only, that's 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 the, probably the best way to find out if you guys like it or not is to use it. Uh, if you guys don't really find it find it cool later on, I'm gonna post a video where I actually use this on the vocal and show you guys how it benefits the vocal. So maybe you guys will like it after that. So, but for now, this is just an overview. And thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe.